You already know. You already know what it's about. As one Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like yesterday. Again, I told you I'm locked in, locked in, locked in. Not only did I hit my goal, but I added an extra two miles today. Added an extra two miles today because I started this morning fuming, like pissed off because the headphones I just bought two weeks ago stopped working. Again, stop fucking working. And I'm like pissed off because I, I, like I was telling you guys yesterday, I need my headphones when I'm running. I need to get out of my own head. I need to remove those people who have denied me and rejected me and all those hurt feelings that I have from my past. I need to get out of my own head and put something else in my mind. And that's why the headphones, the headphones are like almost as important as the damn, almost as important as the shoes when I'm running, right? And I got through, I got through it because I was so fuming and so pissed off. I, I actually added another two miles. I added another two miles today because I was so raged. All right, so anyway, today's Move Simply Thought. Today's Move Simply Thought. Again, I'll bring you a quote in which I've said on this show many, many different times, and I will continue to say it on this show. It's what this show is kind of built on in a sense. It's right here. I'm going to write it down. I don't know where you are, but mental note this. If you can write it down, write it down. All right, here it is. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Here's an example, all right? This week we had a, at the, for those of you who don't know, I teach at, a, teach at a center named the Center for Creative Education out here in West Palm Beach on 45th, Metro Center 45th, I have all that stuff, right? Just look at a Center for Creative Education. Great, great school, by the way, for the K through five kids, getting them on reading level, making, it sh making sure that the art integrated education, the creative education is the way to go, all right? Anyway, one of the first graders, one of the first grade girls was wearing some slippers, I believe some like sandals, some sandals where there was only one hook in between the big toe, one hook, right? And it just so happened that that hook came apart. It fell apart, it broke, right? And she didn't have an extra pair of shoes. She didn't have an extra pair of shoes, so she's walking around barefoot. We don't carry extra shoes. It's not a daycare, so we don't carry extra shoes and things like that. So when that happens, it's like, look, it's on the parents to, you know, make something work, make something happen, make some magic happen and get the, get the little girl her, a pair of shoes, right? Here's what happened. Here's how the situation got resolved. My guy, my guy, Hugo. In fact, Hugo is someone that I wrote an article about that will be debuting this coming Tuesday. I wrote it specifically to come out in the Labor Day around the Labor Day holiday because it's all about the labor that he does and the work that he does that goes very unnoticed, right? So check that out. It's called Detailed Buffin. De Detailed Buffin, all right? So what Hugo did was Hugo decided that he was going to drive to a local Walmart, drive to a local Walmart, find out her size, find out this young lady's size, drive to a local Walmart, buy her some sandals. Not only did he buy her one, he bought her several sandals, make sure they fit, make sure she was good, and you know, she wasn't walking around barefoot. Spent his own money to do that, okay? So again, I bring you back, bring you back to the saying, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. When stuff like that happens, that's your opportunity to show not only the kid, but show the parents and show your peers or your colleagues, everyone, what you're really about because it, it this is true not just for the adult kid relationship it's true for the adult adult relationship when it comes to who you want to work with who you want to be around who you want to associate your brand with who who it is you want to be a member of your peer group when they're doing the little things like that when they're doing the little things like that those are the kind of people you want around versus we had another another teacher who just ups and leaves <laughs> ups and leave because the job is too fucking much for her to handle and stuff like that right so and this was this is someone that had the tradition the one who the lady who left is someone who had a traditional education college degree all that other shit versus the guy who would go out and buy <clears throat> A pair of sandals for a girl that he you know he has no relationship with he's you know he's in charge of all the maintenance in the building but no fancy education think about it think about the kind of people that you want in your life think about what you're what you're doing who you're filtering out who you're associating with just by those two examples all right trust me trust me when i tell you i have a whole lot more to say about this i i don't have my time i don't have enough time to really dive into the weeds of this but i will have a whole lot more to say about this. Just stay tuned. Main website to check out, makeyourmove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.